All right, guys. I'll be honest. UFC 308, at least as far as the main card, that was a pretty solid card. Um, I'm still in shock of the um, of the main and the co-main event. I mean, Jesus Christ. Let me start off by saying, man, uh, my predictions were very, very much off for both the co- and the main event. Heading in, I thought Robert Whitaker was going to be able to weather the storm that Hamzat Shemaev would bring. Sure, I thought Hamzat would be able to get Robert Whitaker down, but I thought Robert, being like one of the best anti-wrestlers in the middleweight division, would find a way to get back onto his feet, kind of weather the storm, tire out Hamzat, and then maybe get like a late finish or a unanimous decision win. That did not happen. And for... Uh, the main event, I thought, like, yeah, Taporia is known for his boxing and his power. He won He won the title off of Volk, but Volk was coming off of a knockout loss to Islam Makashev, and a lot of people thought he came back too quickly, and he managed to knock out Volk. And given the track record and the granite chin that Max Holloway had, I thought that Max Holloway was going to be able to withstand the power from Ilya and... You know, it, I thought it was going to be a competitive fight, and if Max was going to win, I thought he would win maybe on the scorecards by decision. Obviously, that did not happen either. So, uh, man, I guess I'll start off with the Kobe event, man. So, I don't, I, I really thought that this was going to be a much tougher test for Hamzat, but he really just made that look easy against a number three contender in the middleweight division. Like, Jesus Christ, that dude, when he is locked in, that that is a very dangerous man. You know, I don't even think Robert Whitaker was able to even get a strike off, man. Hamza literally just shot in right off the bat, and Robert, who is known to have, like, pretty good scrambles and takedown defense, was just unable to get up from the bottom against Hamzat. I mean, there were a couple moments where, like, it looked like he was getting close to, like, getting back on his feet, but Hamzat would just jump right back on him. And, you know, he just, he was just able to completely control Robert, just completely neutralize him. And eventually, he managed to get to the back of Robert Whitaker. And I guess the squeeze that that man has. Uh, for, as far as his chokes is crazy because Robert ended up choking or Robert ended up tapping and it the choke wasn't even under the chin but the sheer force that Hamzat was putting on Robert Whitaker's jaw actually dislocated it so that's what Robert ended up tapping to and as far as the main event if it is yeah, it was a tough one to watch for any fan of Max Holloway. He is, you know, he's one of those guys where you look at, you know, the shots he's taken against such powerful strikers like Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, Jose Aldo. And yeah, sure, like he, he's gotten wobbled, but, you know, uh, up until the, up until the, uh, the main event he'd really only been dropped once in his entire ufc career so to see max holloway get knocked out for the first time is very heartbreaking man like it kind of reminds me of when i saw frankie edgar get knocked out for the first time and now i'm like legitimately worried about max holloway i know he says he feels great you know and like the way that the fight was going, it seemed like it was going to be a competitive fight, but um, Ilya's power just proved to be a little too much for Max. So yeah, we have a we have a real champion at uh at one at one forty five, man. Um, I don't know who his next fight is going to be. I know Volk. I know he and Volk kind of squared up in the middle of the octagon, but. I don't want to see Volk go in for an immediate rematch. Um, and, you know, middleweight has a 
real scary uh, contender. We we finally know just how good Hamza Chimaev is, man. Like that dude could legit be champion. And you know, I he has a tough task ahead of him in uh in Drykus, but I I think he earned himself a title shot. <laughs> People that beat Robert Whitaker usually earn a title shot. So for Hamza to be ranked number 13 in the middleweight division and just do that to number three ranked Robert Whitaker, a former champion, who I'm pretty sure didn't even land a strike the entire fight and just looked, you know, like he didn't even belong in there. You know, that is a statement. And I'm pretty sure Hamza Chemaev is going to, you know, leapfrog over Sean Strickland as far as a uh, title shot. But yeah, those, uh, what else happened, man? Uh, Shower Bullet with the freaking double spinning back fist knockout. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a way to open up the card. You know, Danny Gay and, um, forget his name, but they had a pretty good scrap. You know. Uh, Uncle Liev proves why he is the rightful number one contender at light heavyweight. Just, yeah, I think it was a pretty solid card overall. But that's, uh, those are my thoughts. That was my reaction, man. Um, let me know down in the comments how you thought the fights were going to go and if you were shocked at all by what you saw, you know. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.